Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my videos. I am Eyeball, otherwise known as Drone, and a few other aliases. Um, I've had a few questions about how do I actually get the Eastern language files to like you know work. So let's just say if um I don't know you want to play a Japanese game or whatever the case being or like maybe there's a Korean um. MMORPG or something like that that you want to play and you can't get it to install because well you know you don't have the language back well what you do is there's two ways to do it you can always what I'm about to show you, you can do it two different ways it's gonna prompt you for your for your install CD if you have the install CD your Windows XP CD by by all means please just put it in and just use it because that makes everything much easier but I like some other people uh, I use backups so like I don't like carrying my CDs around with me all the time so I, I've always burnt you know like a couple of CDs here and there of, like all my copies of Windows XP but you know eventually you lose it and all that kind of stuff so you're all on your own so if you don't have a CD I'm gonna show you the way to do it without it okay so first what you're going to do is you're going to look on the right of your screen, right where, right where all my uh, info is about, the, about my YouTube video. There's going to be a link there with a mega upload right there. Now I'm going to assume you guys know what RARs are and what um, mega upload is and everything. But if you don't, I'm just going to explain it simply. First you go to the link. This is what you're going to see. It's the language files. It's a, about 100 megabytes, all that kind of stuff. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna type in this captcha. A captcha is basically like a random squiggle, like random bunches of like um, pictures or whatever that have either numbers or text. And you're gonna write those characters into this box right here. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna click download file. Now the reason why they do this is to stop people like in you know, like um, bots from just mass downloading things and all that kind of stuff. Now this is what you're gonna get to next. For you it might take a little longer, I don't know what your speed is. You're gonna click regular download. But if you're a regular user at Mega Upload and you have all the fancy stuff, go ahead and click premium. It doesn't really matter. But for people who are doing it for free, do regular download. Now when you're done, what you're gonna get is a uh, is a RAR file. <clears throat> uh, basically you just extract it like any other RAR file there's a few ways to do it however you want to do it go ahead you can always just right click it and extract uh, this is what you're gonna end up getting <clears throat> you're gonna get an i386 and then and then this guy now for some reason um, I don't know why but when, on my CD that I had this KB file was not there so what I did is I just went to like one of those DL dumper sites and everything. I just downloaded this. I scanned it. It's safe. I use it, so don't worry about it. Basically, uh, sometimes when you're downloading, I mean when you're installing the uh, the Eastern language file, it's going to ask you for the KBD whatever this is .dll. That's basically just saying it's looking for a Japanese keyboard layout. It's important to run it, but you're probably never going to use it. But you need it to install it, kind of thing. So anyways, you're going to go to control panel, then you go to regional and language options. By the way, I am running Windows XP right now, but I modded it to look like Windows 7. Um, I know I, I, I told you guys in like my last video that I had Windows 7, that is true, but um, my computer was too slow of handling it, so I just downloaded Windows XP, and I like the way that Windows 7 looked, so I just, you know, kept the theme. Um, anyways, so this is all Windows XP right now, and if your guy, if your setup does not look like this, it's the same exact thing, <clears throat> if, even if you go into the control panel folder, it's the same thing, so you just go to regional language options, you're going to start off over here, and this is basically just stuff talking about like, how it sees things, so is it going to see USD, is it going to see yen, uh, how is the time set up, and all that kind of stuff. Now if you look here in languages, the middle tab, it's going to say install files for eastern languages. Now what you're going to do is this box is going to not be checked. So you're going to check it 
which I already did, I already installed it. You check it and you hit OK or you hit apply. What's going to happen is this install thing is going to pop up and it's going to say please insert your Windows XP disk. Now like I said if you have it go ahead put it in and just use it and everything should be just fine. If you don't have it though <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to click browse. You like uh, it, you, it's going to give you the option to choose where you want like where you want to look. You're going to choose browse and then you're going to point to wherever you installed uh, wherever you downloaded this thing to. And then you're going to point to i386 and then you point to language. And then it's automatically going to see this um this file. It's like clp something like that .exe. And then you're just going to install it. It's going to run its course. And then it might ask you, I'm not sure. It might ask you for this guy right here. If it does, just browse, go back and go to this file and point it again and then just finish the install. Um that's really it. That's really all I have to say about it. Um, it's pretty simple. I kind of wish that I didn't actually install it first, but I needed to make sure that my files were working before you know I gave them to you guys because that would be mean. Um, like I said, it's a pretty straightforward thing. You're just choosing. You're just choosing this. You're just checking this, and then just browsing to whatever folder that you got this from. Um, Sometimes, when you when you play certain games, it's you might need like a little bit more um, than just the the language pack. You might also need to change if you go to advanced your language for Unicode programs. Now, basically, Unicode is like basically the way it's set up. You know, like how like when you see your we like you know folder slash folder that kind of stuff, that's Unicode. Um, the slashes so it's different if you've ever seen Japanese stuff on your computer you know that it looks like squares it looks like squares and random characters like it's really confusing so basically what you do is you go like this it's by default gonna be on English so you're gonna scroll down to Japanese once again this is after you've already installed the thing like you've already installed everything it's going to ask you to restart. Please restart. Uh, and then when you choose this, the language, and you're going to choose OK, it's going to ask you to restart. Once again, you just restart. Uh, you might be getting this up on top, this guy right here. Oh, don't worry about this. This is this right here is my rocket dock. You might be getting this guy right here. This is just choosing um, what you want to see for the Unicode. So you're just choosing your language right there. Right now it's on English because obviously I'm using English, but I can also do Japanese if I want to. Uh, that's pretty much it. Once again, this is my second video, and I haven't done this in a long time if you've seen my last video. Uh, I'm using Camtasia Studio. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, if you have any recommendations, any comments, please feel free to write. Any questions, I can definitely help you with that. I love helping people. That's why I'm doing these videos. Uh, let me know. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.